Weirdly enough, I feel like there's not that much country music here in Austin. As you can tell, the couch is gone. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome to a new vlog. My name is Sonali and my boyfriend's in town. Today's a really exciting day because we have a reservation for Sushi Bar ETX. If you guys are in Austin and you've heard of this place, you know how hard it is to get in to this restaurant. I believe it's a 10 person seating dinner. I don't remember. I think 10 or something. And it's omakase and it is literally so good. I dream about it almost every single day. I'm a sushi addict. So that was like one of the highlights of my life. This morning, we are starting off the day by going to get some breakfast and some coffee. I think I'm probably gonna get a chai. I've been at this place before. It's actually on UT's campus. So we're like pulling up and there's so many people walking. I sometimes forget, I I mean, technically we do live in a college town because Austin is a college town, right? Mm. But obviously like we don't live like right next to UT's campus. So I don't see like students walking every single day but there was like a big mass of students just crossing the street i was like holy shit that's crazy um but we're gonna check out lucky lab coffee i've been here before the chai was really really good so I forgot to show you guys an update on my click and grow in the last vlog. So let me show you guys what it looks like. I am so freaking hyped. I think this has been about three weeks or two weeks. Um, I think this is going to be basil, definitely cilantro. And then I guess that leaves this one as mint, which this one's struggling. I'm not really sure why, but this one grew first. And then this one sprouted like honestly a week after, but that now this is like way taller. So that's kind of crazy. Um, and I haven't filled it up. It seems like there's still water in there. I haven't filled it up since I did the first time. So that's pretty awesome too, because if you're gone for like two weeks, let's say, it's still gonna self water your plants. And the light turns off like for eight hours. So it's like kind of like on a cycle. Um, but yeah, I need this one to grow because I feel like I like to use mint the most out of all of these herbs. But I'm so excited to finally start using all of these when they grow a little bit bigger and especially to just stop wasting herbs. So at 1 p.m. I actually have a follow-up for my veneers and we're gonna do my full like video shoot today. My dentist and his team are so good at social media. He has like almost 3 million followers on TikTok and that's how I found him in the first place. I'm currently headed to Dr. Patel's office and then after that I'm going to meet the videographer at the domain. I'm not sure like exactly where or if he booked a studio. I kind of hope so just because it's gonna be hot but oh my god this morning I walked out and I took Sophie out. It was so nice. It was like so chilly and cold and I was like what the heck? I like forget what the cold feels like. If you live in Texas, I bet you feel me on that. Without you, there's no us. <laughs> I'm serious. I tell that to you. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. We're in this selfie studio thingy at the domain. And introduce yourself. What's good? My name is Dominic Tolliver and uh, I'm a TikToker. And we're here, you know what I'm saying, making some content about our teeth, our smile. Yes. So, pretty excited we are. And uh, I'm Jared. I work for Dada Patel, who has created these smiles so yes we're gonna get some really cool content there's like a bunch of rooms that's a cool one two more oh wait whoa and this is at the domain so anyone can come here wow oh i think that's what it's called the selfie galleries i feel like this would be fun for like a tiktok should have brought my tripod. Ooh, that's a cool one. 
<laughs> Look how cool this tunnel is. time and it was a mess getting home but I'm back home it just changed into a dress me and Ryan are actually gonna head out to get some like chips and salsa somewhere I just feel like we need like something in our systems because dinner is at 9 30 we're going to sushi bar ATX so freaking pumped that is like way too late to eat for dinner because I don't think I even really had lunch I just had what I had at Lucky Lab um but we are gonna go get some chips and salsa then we're gonna go to like a pr event for a wine company or maybe a winery i'm not really sure we'll find out more when we get there and then we'll go to our reservation but bachelor in paradise is on tonight it's the first episode of the season so i'm kind of bummed i'm missing it i usually have my friends over to watch bachelorette and i'll probably continue the tradition because i feel like it's just like i feel like it's just a nice way to get together during the week and it doesn't really involve drinking unless people want to drink wine, which I'm totally fine with, but it's just like a nice little way to hang out with your girls during the week. So I definitely want to keep doing that. If you're wondering why I'm standing in the garage is because I forgot my key. I like transferred my purse over to this one and did not remember to put my car key in it. So I graciously went back to get it. Um, but it is almost 6 p.m., which is when the event starts. experiences to the, the wine community here in Austin and even folks that uh, consider themselves uh, novice in wine. We give a bit of education, it's in a fun, uh, engaging environment uh, in a really sexy uh, space. Uh, you have to come check it out. We are available for wine tastings Wednesday through Sunday. Um, we'd love to have you. Um, and we have a couple of different offerings. We do um, sparkling tastings on Sunday. We have a classic tasting. And if you're a real newbie, on Thursdays, we have a, a Wine 101 to where you can really get an in-depth um, uh, account and learning about wine and learning about the grapes so that you can be, um, you can take your wine journey uh, that much further. Our vision was to create kind of a speakeasy lounge where people could just come in and feel really comfortable and kind of swanky little environment, um, but really like unassuming from the outside. So we were just like, wanted you to kind of walk in and be really surprised about the atmosphere that you walked into. Sauvignon Blanc. It's typically going to be very, you know, almost seafood. Um, so with red wines, 
certain things like Pinot Noir, very light colored, certain things like Merlot, uh, Syrah, Cab, a lot darker of color. Anyways, again, sight, not that important. Next thing you're gonna do, smell the wine. So smell is the most important sense you're gonna use here. The smell takes up about 80% of your flavor, or your taste. So when you smell it, there's a couple of different ways. This is where I said it might get a little weird. But you can just stick your nose in and just do big whips. That's very common. A lot of you like smelling that way. How I do it is I actually smell on each side of my nose separately. So different sides of your nose will have, yeah, exactly. People typically do that. You don't need to do that. You can like, here's what I do. I kind of cut off one side, and then you can roll it back and forth. Um, but the reason being is that one side of your nose is doing all the work Actually, it's like 90% of the work every hour of the day, but it will change constantly. So you don't know which side is actually working. It's crazy if you smell different sides, it will smell different. Your nostril doesn't have a smell. Yeah, exactly. And then like 20 minutes from now, it might, it might switch. So it's important to smell both sides. <laughs> um, also, I don't have a slide for this one, so we're not going to worry about the taste of notes. Uh, but after you smell it, just roll one. So, swirl the wine. You can put it on the table if that's easier. Do nice little tight swirls. Um, yeah, it looks kind of cool, but it actually does a lot as well. Um, so, exactly. So, especially with like a cold white wine, it's very important because all those compounds and molecules are loving up on one another. They're all tight, they're all hanging on. Introducing the oxygen is going to break those apart, open up the aroma. You ever hear the, the phrase, open up that wine, let the wine breathe? These are things that you're doing by swirling that wine. After you swirl it, smell it again. It may smell more, may not. It actually does give a little more fragrance, at least in my perception. Um, a lot of dark fruit here. When I say dark fruit, I mean like blueberry, blackberry, poisonberry, those types of fruits, versus like a red fruit like strawberry. Um, then the best part, you taste it. So when you taste it, all you're thinking about is hitting every part of your palate. It's your palate, your tongue, you don't need to swish it around your teeth, but Different parts of your tongue have different sensory receptors. For most people, it's sweetness in the front, bitterness in the back, sourness on the sides. You really want to coat that whole palate so you're kind of hitting all of those points and getting the whole experience of that one. Like this. Smell good. All right, we're going to get sushi, and Not it's funny sushi. because I was literally sitting next to we're an experienced sushi. sushi girl ATX is her handle, and I was like, "What's up, we're going?" <laughs> um, I think we're going to get like some Miroko or something. What? Maybe sushi bar ATX. I'm just getting sushi. We're going to sushi bar ATX, guys. You don't understand how big this is, but if you do understand, I appreciate you. Okay. Bring those coasters down closer to you. Uh, we just ask that you put them back up on the sledge so that we can give you that <coughs> nice course. You guys also have some pickles in front of you right now. These are going to be uh, treated as a palate cleanser throughout. Uh, so just kind of like munch on these and then uh, we will fill them if you guys are ready. because we are selling our first ever couch. Sophie was just enjoying it before I started the vlog. This was one of the two items that I saved up for in college because I knew I could not just settle on something post-grad. So 
A white couch was one of my main things I wanted so bad when I got my first apartment. And then a smart TV, which is behind you. And I've never regretted any of these purchases. I love my smart TV so much, which I feel like a lot of TVs nowadays are smart. But I feel like it was a big deal back then because I never really had like a TV that you didn't have to have like a whole separate Apple TV. Like it was just all built in there and I thought it was so cool. I could like cast my YouTube videos on it. Anyways, I still love that TV. But this couch is getting picked up in like about 15 minutes. Um, it was from Wayfair and I did a whole video on it. So I will link that down below as well as like the link to this couch if you guys are still interested because it's um i think it's like under two thousand dollars which definitely sounds like a lot at first but this couch was so comfortable number one and number two couches are not cheap furniture is not cheap um and that is definitely more on the affordable end for like really nice big sectionals like this i would say um so but i actually just posted a video about my west elm couch in the other room which obviously that one's going to be way more expensive because it's like a big brand name i got so many comments saying that like the couch was so expensive blah blah like why did i buy that it's a sleeper sofa and i'm like why are we hating on sleeper sofas like i literally said it was a purchase i will never regret i never said it was cheap and i think people on tiktok sometimes they're trained to think that everything will be a dupe and that everything is going to be more affordable but I was just showing off my couch that I freaking love so much that turns into a guest bed and saves me some space in my tiny little office. So anyways, I'm actually upgrading my couch and it's getting delivered tomorrow. I bought a new one off of Wayfair and it's a little bit bigger. It is, I believe like wider because this um, fabric is conversation pearl if you're looking at this specific couch. So I would say it's like an off white. Um, it definitely got a little bit dingy over the years. I mean, we've had this thing for three years and I'm not really sure like the actual lifespan of a couch. It is still going strong. It is so freaking comfortable. I remember when we first moved here, we were looking for couches in store um, so that I didn't have to wait a while because I did have to wait like maybe, I don't know, one or two months for this. Definitely worth it. So just keep that in mind. But the couch i'm getting today shipped so fast and that's like another reason why i was very like intrigued and wanted to purchase this new one um but anyways this is so comfortable like i'm gonna miss my naps on this and i'm really hoping the new one is just as comfortable um or hopefully even more because it's more like spacious i think it looks like it at least um so yeah very exciting and the new couch has like this ottoman like that chase part i don't think it's like actually connected so you can like move around the ottoman and it has storage in the ottoman i'm like i feel like every couch should have like storage underneath it that would be so nice so all those blankets are definitely going in the ottoman because i think the couch will be too big for that basket to even be there i also purchased a new rug which is going to come october i think it already shipped so it should be coming like soon ish i'm actually very surprised at like the shipping times on all this stuff because i think they literally just weaved my rug i got it on etsy and it's gonna be so gorgeous i'm so hyped um but one more thing i want to get for the living room is um just a floor lamp because i feel like whenever we're watching tv at night i hate lights on when i'm watching tv because i feel like my eyes are very distracted by other light but I feel like I've seen so many other apartments where they have like one like nice yellow warm light on and it's so vibey at night. So I really want to look into that. Um, but for now, we're just going to wait till the couch gets here. See how much actual room we have to work around because I'm not really sure if I'll actually have a lot of room to work with. But Sophie, are you sad? You won't have that couch anymore. She looks so cute today. As you can tell, the couch is gone. And I also gave her my ruggable rug because I ordered another rug. And I was just like, you can just take it if you want because I was gonna have to get rid of it anyways. And I just didn't want to deal with that. So I got $200 for the couch. And I think I paid like definitely 1,000 something for the couch. <laughs> And you guys are probably like, what the heck? Like, why'd you not sell it for more? But it was really dingy. It just had a lot of pilling and I didn't really want to like shave it. So I was really willing to take the hit on that. 
Um, but I'm glad I got that taken care of and tomorrow's the day that I get my new couch. I kind of want to vlog tomorrow separately. We're also going to a Cole Swindell concert tomorrow with all of our friends. So that's going to be really fun. I have not been to a country concert in so long. I don't think Cole Swindell would have been my first choice, but weirdly enough, I feel like there's not that much country music here in Austin, at least like big artists. I feel like they always go to like San Antonio, Houston, Dallas, not Dallas. I feel like San Antonio, Houston. Oh my God, that scared me. <laughs> I feel like they never really come here, but we did get a new concert venue. It's called the Moody Center. It's like right next to UT. So hoping that they come to Austin like more often, but I'm really mad because I think I'm going to go to Georgia like in October, late October. And I just saw that Parker McCollum is playing when I'm in Georgia. And I'm so sad because I've been telling myself I really, really want to go see him live. All of my friends already saw him live. And I can't remember why I couldn't go that day, but I know I couldn't go. Yeah, I'm just really sad, but hopefully he'll come back and not be like too crazy expensive. Um, but we are actually going to another kind of like PR event type thing. The Well is featuring some new drinks and some new appetizers and food on their happy hour menu. So I got invited to try it and Ryan is gonna come along with me. Let's do an outfit of the day because I'm obsessed with this outfit. So cute. Starting off with my shirt. I feel like these checkered patterns are really in right now. This one is from Revolve and I know it's under $100. I think it was like $68. Um, and I bought it when I bought like all of those going out tops. So I have not had the chance to wear it yet because it's been so hot. But this morning was so nice. And I feel like I keep saying that, but it just keeps getting cooler. This morning I woke up and it was 59 degrees out. I put on my sweat set, I put on my Uggs, like I was not playing out here. Um, but these jeans are actually new. I just got them from Abercrombie. They're kind of like a boot cut style and I really like them because they have like contrasted stitching. I think that's what it's called. Um, but yeah, I think they look really good. And then shoes are my Knowles heels from Dolce Vita. I feel like I always want to like step out of my comfort zone and wear other heels, but these are just so comfortable. Can't chance it, you know? And then the bag is from Pop Bay. It's like from an Instagram ad, but it's so cute. I love it. And now I'm just realizing I need to put on some earrings. to dinner get some sushi maybe just like one roll or something i walked by lambert's today oh and it smells really good it's barbecue wasn't this the first barbecue place we went to in austin lambert because terry black's was too long to the Cole Swindell concert. Gonna be so fun. And we're also getting our new couch. I'm so excited. Um, they're supposed to come between one and five and it looks like I'm gonna be like the last delivery. So it'll be probably closer to the end of the day, which isn't great because we're gonna go um, up to the domain to pregame at someone's house literally right at 5.30. So I'm just hoping that they get here like more in the middle or like earlier but we'll see, hopefully it all works out. Um, but I have my aloe sweat set on um, because I'm gonna go get some 
breakfast, lunch with my friend Andy at two. I got the courtesy call from Wayfair that they're about 30 to 40 minutes out, so perfect timing. I think they'll get here about two. I'm so excited to see it in person. They didn't have like a bunch of reviews because it looked like a newer couch, so I'm gonna be doing like a whole video on it because my last couch video did really well, and I feel like this is a very similar vibe. Like it's a white sectional, but this one's more like that cloud couch feel. We got our new couch, a little sneak peek, but I'm gonna show you guys in a full other video. So like I said, we're going to a Cole Swindell concert and we are gonna drive up to the domain and pregame at a friend's house and then go to the concert. Apparently the concert starts at six and it's like five, five nineteen. So I don't know if we're gonna miss a lot of the openers or what, but let me show you guys my outfit. Let's talk about these boots first. I am obsessed with these. The feeling of them is more of like a soft, like it's not really like super stiff, but it's just like so high quality. They're Tecovas. And then these shorts are Abercrombie, I believe. Yes. And then the top is Revolve. I love the shirt. It's very like revealing, but also like it's the same color as my skin. So it kind of like looks weird, but I l just love like the fit of it. I think it's very like snatching. So but I really, really like the fit of it. I feel like it's super flattering. Um, and I'll try to link everything down below and I'll probably film the rest of the vlog on my iPhone. It's Ryan's last night. I'm really sad, but hopefully we'll make it the best last night. When I tell him it's photo time and everyone takes out their lipstick. <laughs> 